knows? We're going to see a little bit of action here in the server. It's going to start with Overpass, Nip, and Fnatic. That is Swede on Swede violence. And we do have to be aware of it. And so do you. Yeah, the Swedish slammer as we get straight into the action. In fact, maybe a bit late, if anything. Golden has already gotten a kill in this round. Twist is gone, and that was in middle. And it's going to be Fnatic going back down towards B, but they don't have short water control, and Letgro picks them up from the sidelines. Popsky with two, and Crimson Golden are stuck in a real awkward spot. Crims could try and get towards the A site if he wants. Golden is coming in, and Fnatic are in <laughs> role reversal right now. They yeah. swap sides. They think CT is full of enemies. That's not the case. This is such a weird round. Golden's like come back from heaven, and now he's like, actually, no, I think heaven is yeah, the answer, Crims. Let's get out of here. Let's run. And Golden sacrificing Ooh. himself so that Crims can get away with that bomb. A real hero move from Golden, and he does take a man down with him as he perishes. That was a straight up scene from an action movie there from Golden. Crims now, can he pick up where Golden left off? In a 1v2, a lot's required, oh, and Nort puts him down. Sadly, Golden's sacrifice is in vain. Bomb plant found at the very, very least with Fnatic, but NIP, they're going to take their first on the board here and now, picking up this pistol, and now looking to get off to a good start here on Overpass. Still one player I want to talk about here that we didn't really highlight in the pre-match would be that of Nock. And Harry, I look at Nock as one of the players' this, uh, excitement coming out of Sweden. Now, it's been some time since we've had you know fresh faces across Sweden, and Nock has been around for some time, but ultimately he's a player that impressed. Yeah, you know, I think for Counter-Strike organizations across the world, like, you know, they finally had to, like, herald the warning of organizations like NIP, VP, uh, SK, right, about how, like, these legendary players maybe aren't going to be able to keep up that caliber for a long while. And so suddenly, you know, we saw NIP's, like, mindset switch from always just trying to adjust, like, one player, that, right. that magical fifth that they were hoping for. To a fire sale. They, yeah, exactly, right? And, and then suddenly they, they go, you know what? Wipe the slate clean. We get all this young talent. We get all these guys who have... You know, some of them played in our roster before. Some of them have played in Fnatic's rosters before, right? So they've got the experience. They've still been on those big stages. They pull them all into this team. And uh, we're seeing that a lot more across every yeah. region. Like, even in the CIS region, think about all, like, the the kind of academy slash, like, youngster, right? Like, Gambit youngsters, for example. Academy and, teams like, like yeah. Envy, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, sure. You all right, man? Yeah, man, I'm fine. I'm doing great, Trace. Rez is over here at long, and he's about to be doing very good as well. There's three players on the oh. other side, and now they know he's here. But knowing is only half the battle, and it will be JW to win the other half. He does get that trade, leaves it in a three-on-three -three for Fnatic, and this fast A player is coming through. No one is here for an IP. Nobody is home, even though Fnatic are knocking, and there's lights on. This bomb's gonna, oh, it does get denied by Nort coming okay. up short side. And now this round gets very, very tricky, but Flusher, Deegan down two, has somehow put this in a 1v1 from a 1v3. And he's gonna put the first round on the board for Fnatic. They steal it with the four spy. And you know, Harry, it's only fair. If we look at the nip side, we talk about Nock, we might as well talk about Brolin as well, as one of those younger talents that has come up and, and risen in the scene as he is. 100%. Like, when, when you think about the storyline of Brolin, right, going from what was essentially like a reality TV show to now being <laughs> in this Fnatic squad, it is like such a... a no one has that trajectory in esports. Like, I, no one <laughs> exists that went on the same path he did. And boy, has he been a great addition to this Fnatic squad, right? Like, he is someone who you can always rely upon to step up in the server. He looks so comfortable and... Even as we saw in like the stats before the game, like he's just leading in frags by such a huge margin here on either side. Like he's outperforming everyone. And Brolin, I just think, you know, he's been stellar since getting picked up by this Fnatic squad. And, you know, with the rest of the guys, these legends of the game, they've been able to shape him and really help create the player, the deadly player that he is now in the server. Eagles is all that's left here for NIP inside of the B-bomb site. Fnatic are going to be bringing a bit of a fight. Brolin, it's Propsky off of this site, and now it's going to be Fnatic getting a bomb plant. There should be a second round locked and loaded. NIP already looking to save what little they brought into this round. It's going to be a scout on res. Deeg armor on twist. Not a pretty picture here for NIP as they have to skedaddle away. Fnatic take four AKs into the next round. So already looking to build up a bit of an economy on the T side, not messing around with any SMGs. And of course, you know, winning the force certainly helps with that as well. You know NIP aren't going to be taking full ecos in round number three. They're definitely going to be trying to combat your force buys. It's no avail. 
and IP will have to full eco after this round as they wait for that bonus to build up themselves. Yeah, Fnatic back-to-back -back rounds here after losing a pistol. And that's what you do love to see if you are the Fnatic side. Almost as good as nachos and coffee, isn't it, Harry? An iconic combination, Trace. So one that I would definitely recommend trying. If you, if you those have nachos. those available. So it would be the coffee first or the nachos first? Uh, it's like tea and biscuits. Like you oh. dip them in. No. And, uh, <laughs> no. It's, so it's real good, man. Someone get them out of here. Because you get like a nice buzz from the coffee and then you get the saltiness of the crisp. All right, whose man's is this? <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> I ain't seen this guy before. Is boosted and... Ooh. Ooh. That's a little bit cheeky. A little nade from JW helps get that trade onto Twist. So it's a temporary four on four. Fnatic still working on securing these conversion rounds. They're able to deal with it on the force buy in the round prior. And now they're looking to do it again here versus even less for an IP. So this should be a pretty easy round for Fnatic to pick up. Flusher actually assists with that kill and connector by wall banging from B short. So. Yeah, Twist doesn't really catch a break in this round. It's going to be up to the scout of Rez and Nork, who's already been tagged up earlier to clean this one up. He's at least got a Deagle. The issue with that M4 is it's in connector and NIP don't own that position, so they can't pick the weapon back up. Fnatic have full control and they're going to be moving up towards this A site. It is under stacked, empty in fact, and if Fnatic can just contact it, they should be able to get a plant and win the round. Rez is already considering that possibility and so he'll begin to run right back up. JK is going back down again with a heaven smoke landing. Maybe that drew his attention, but no one pushing off the back of it makes things almost seem obvious for NIP, and you know they're considering it. At this point, Rez, he's scared that Fnatic are already inside of the site and getting aggressive. That's not the case. They've smoked off the stairs, mollied the bank, and this plant will be allowed here in the fourth round. Yeah, and that's the plan at least. Now it's got to be Fnatic toe the line in some defensive maneuvers. Roland playing up close. I think they might have got a whiff that he might be crossing over there. It's Plopsky, even though it's just pistols and one scout here inside of Nip. Roland with the flash and the peak. Finds knock, finds the head too after that. Let's continue on the terror. Lecro the last one to go down. That's going to be an easy round for Fnatic, all things considered. We're really expecting much of a fight out of Nip in that one. No stress. And the value of picking this T side for Fnatic, despite it being NIP's map pick, is at least showing off early in this game, right? Not getting swept like they did last time. That was a really weird series of T sides as well, right? When they play back in Pro League, it was a play in match. These guys are both leveled up in the group and they were looking to get to stage two. Fnatic won that series 2 1, but in that game, NIP went 13 rounds T side overpass. Fnatic got 13 rounds T side Mirage, and then Fnatic got 10 rounds T side train. Good times. But that's you know kind of expected. We we saw the dig fanatic game right, and that was really competitive, despite maybe people not thinking it would be. And and I think there's that level of familiarity, right? The Swedish matchup, the brawl, and it gets very puggy at times, and, and you know very explosive. And I, because you know even though this NIP roster doesn't have the same relationship with Fnatic, they are still from the same place, and and, and therefore have played together, have similar styles, and some ex teammates in the mix here as well. So. It's certainly going to be an entertaining series. Fnatic are making it that. They're going to fast play B, but Plopsky is in the monster. He's ready for it. Doesn't let that man in. It's a second dude here in the form of Golden, but look at that bomb. It is still dropped back at the bottom of connector, and Fnatic have control towards middle, so not going to be committing after they lose a man to Plopsky there. If Flusher got that kill, maybe Fnatic would have doubled down towards B, but it's not gone their way. They've got to look elsewhere. Yeah, they do. And they're rolling so low, he's got to be very careful about the peaks and fights that he looks to take right here. Trying to creep his way up long at 10-8-2 with the rest of his team on short, and it's bye golden. Bye. Racing twist. Let oh, go. no. Can't seem to lasso down the spray. That's going to create a dilemma for the Ninjas in pajamas, and moreover, just Plopsky and Knock are going to have to save now over in the B-bomb site. So, Fnatic go up 4-1. Things are going splendid here for the Fnatic side. They put some English on it. I will say, right, like one thing to bear in mind heading into this uh, this series is that the pressure these two teams are feeling is very, very different, right? For NIP, 
they know they're pretty much good. Like, they're not that worried about uh, the results of this series. Whereas for Fnatic, there's like a hell of a lot riding on it, right? Like, you want to guarantee your spot in the uh, the playoff position if you can. Yeah. And a lot of that, you know, would be made a hell of a lot simpler if you do at least win your matchup. Because if you don't, you're pretty much guaranteed to be slipping down. So... Yeah, one of the notes for NIP as well, in the back of their mind, is, you know, them and Astralis, top of the group, like you said, both of them will be going to the semi-finals. Now, if NIP win this game, they go, you know, top... Uh, well, they're already top, but they go... Are they 5-1 and one right now or 4-1? and one, Sorry. They go 6-1. They go and one. So, um... Astralis, if they win their game, they're also 6-1. and one. But because of the head-to-head -head rules, because Astralis beat NIP inside of this group, Astralis therefore get that number one spot, which makes sense, right? Astralis also have a game today versus Ents. Now, you know, I don't think it's a big assumption to say that Astralis should win that game. So NIP are knowing that even if they win this series, it's not really going to affect much. Obviously, that's why we delay all these games till the, 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 the same time, right? NIP don't know what's going on with that Astralis matchup. So... There is a world where Ents could beat them and NIP can still top the group. Yeah, the tweet has just come through seven minutes ago by Raul Patel. I want to ask Harry that why he always laugh when Hugo TV talks in pre-match shows or in between talks. That's a great question. Yeah, Harry. well, I'm not actually laughing at Hugo because I, you know, like. I really like Hugo. Really? Um, yeah, funnily oh. enough. Uh, usually I'm laughing at something Trace is doing Why just in I the corner something? of my eye. I don't know, man. You're always playing with Rubik's Cubes or or doing little hand signs at me to tell me things. Or handstands. And I just find it funny. Oh. But yeah, spirits are high. I can't help that. Here's JW down in Connector. His spirits flowing very, very freely in this round as he rejoins the rest of the gang over here on A. They've got North trapped and this oh, should be him dear. pretty much done. Pretty much out of the round. Yeah, this went horribly wrong for the side of Nip. And Nox staying alive with an M4 might be that little bit of solace. I feel like I'm the only professional on this desk at times. But then I remember and, and, I'm not professional Yeah, I was going to say, what really constitutes <laughs> you as a professional, so to say, versus just Harry? Let's ask the Twitch chat. Who's more professional, Harry oh. or Hugo? I'm glad I can't see the replies in this case. I feel like I already know who's going to win, and I already know it's not me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Nork is able to hold on to the M4 down here in Connector at the very, very least, right? But this is still a great start from Fnatic, and this is not the same NIP on Overpass that we've been used to seeing. It's a bit of a slow start to this game, and up against the Hounds of Fnatic, you really can't afford to start slow, because these guys certainly aren't. No, uh, the orbs could be the solution, Harry. We talk about this in the pregame, right? The, the double orb between Twist and Nork, it's coming straight in. Yeah. And when you're down 5-1, you go, you go for it every time, right? The, yeah. These could be the solution Let's to get it. an aggressive T side. Thank you, Harry. Twist, nice, flash Harry. off early. You're going to fall back to the toilets. Fnatic aren't focusing on A. They know another buy round is in play, and they put their players down on B. The bomb still sat as, around the spawn and holding for aggression off Fnatic in middle, waiting to see if NIP bring the heat. Golden might have a kill here if Plopski overplays this hand. He uh, push out wide for Brolin on long, and he will go down. Flusher does kill Plopski, aggressing down on short. So that kill has come through for Fnatic. And considering they set up towards B in the start of the round, that's a good trade. They're going to be happy with that, but not anymore. Letcro drops gold, and Crims aggresses towards A, and it's it's so weird. It's back and forth. Fnatic are full on pugging this round. They are all over the map. They are attacking both sites at once. Crims. Moving up with that smoke, there's still a player on his close left to worry about, Re but Rez has been tagged up from earlier, giving away his position with the Molotov. Krim should know about it anyway. Nork has scoped up with his AWP on the site, but JW is here as well. And they are. Three versus three. This has come down to the wire. Nork trying to hit a shot there with his AWP. He's going to have to drop a smoke on top of the Molotov. Uh, eventually does hit the shot. JW just kind of bunny hopping around. I think JW thought that that was Rez and that Brolin made the call like, oh, one low, lo low HP long, 10 HP, use your pistol. And JW tries to glock the AWPer. Grenade does nothing. Crims, though. Going to walk right in the fire line of knock. Here's Flusha with a good response. 
Now it's down to a 1vt, or excuse me, 1v2 even. 2vt. Basically what I was going for. Yeah, 1vt and uh, roll vt here as <laughs> NIP do get their first on the board, of course. Yep, and those... In the rifles, rather. They did find the pistol. I did do to draw attention to that. They have two rounds, not one. I do know numbers. Well, that's okay. Because the results came in at the poll on Twitch chat. You guys want to know Oh, yeah? Were? Yep. It was a mixture of Kappa Prides, Bible Thumps, and, uh, of course, how could we ever forget the Keck Ws that actually won out of the professionalism vote? So. No one really won that. Nobody really we all wins. Lost. Everybody loses when we all win. Well... NIP, they're losing, but maybe not for long, because a round found off the back of the orbs. And Twist has still got one in his hands. He's taking it deep towards long. JW's dropped Lecro inside of B early on. That was from the connector. He opened the door. Oh, Brolin, nice catch. Gets Twist aggressing. This time, looking the right place. Five on three for Fnatic. If you're NIP in this position, you can feel very pressured to get aggressive and get kills. So Rez actually does do that towards A, dropping the lone man there. Now Fnatic walking into a double setup here for NIP. They know there's a player close on Monster. Golden's going to look for it, and he's got the kill. Plopsky caught throwing a smoke. Can't afford to do that, leaving North alone. Drops the bomb, but he can't find more than one. Flush it down to seven, but Rez is alone in a one on three. Yeah, what can they even expect him to do here, right? That bomb's gone down, and Rez is still, like, looking like he's going for this. And, yeah, he will just get deleted almost immediately. Fnatic putting a sixth round up on the board and continuing to have this dominant hold over the first half. You know, we we were we were kind of, you know, thinking with the T-side start, obviously maybe they've got some bad memories of the last time they met NIP on this map, right? And it was a very, very dominant T-side beginning for the, uh, the ninjas in pajamas. However, now with Fnatic beginning on this T side, my word, they've been allowed to dictate the pace. They've been allowed to just group up and take this map control wherever they want it. We're seeing some real decent, like, heads up. Four players just going towards a bomb site, leaving a man lurking yep. and shutting it down. And also over here on the B stream, we've got a bit of a French brawl. Team Vitality taking on the Heretics on Nuke. And this is actually a huge matchup. Uh, oh, Trace, you want to take it? Well, I mean, I could i guess if you if so you you're pointing at yourself I no i wasn't know. pointing at anything well, i just wanted to say that you know i guess the vitality and the heretics going on over here on esl underscore csgo b hugo yes B byron indeed uh, this is actually a big game for heretics as well right because then nuke has been excellent this series uh, this tournament they they took it over fanatic the other day they've got a hundred percent win rate right now so vitality are actually looking to take that away from them and you know th there's a good chance where we could have heretics be the french upset to take vitality out of this road to rio group and solidify themselves a spot in that next stage but that's all on the b stream right now it's the action on a nip and fanatic an eco round from the ct they're being pushed on long. Twister's turned around at the right time, realizing Brolin is here. JW's going to come and join him. Could flash him into the toilets, but Brolin knows they are pistols and might just want to take dry fights. Let's see if he clears his corner. Twist climbing, and he looks right at him, but Brolin is quicker to the punch. Fnatic, a man up, moving towards this A site. We do have three players here for NIP, but Brolin is just making quick work of them. One by one, dropping the Swedes. I love watching Brolin just, like, use rifles, man. Like, his aim just feels so, like, almost robotic in, like, the way that he moves around. It's a real treat to keep an eye on in this series. Has been for a while now for Fnatic. And now all that's left in this round is just these deagles for NIP. Really, not a lot to attempt to find this third round on the board for them, right? They're two players down. This was their attempt at a partial buy, and it's pretty much been torn Ooh. apart. Golden did just check to the left, and he Ooh. didn't think he saw anyone. Unfortunately for him, Nork was there. But the trade comes in from Flusher, and now these players inside of the site do what? find themselves trapped. Plopsky delivers a nice little double, but before he can get it, that ball rolling any further, Flusher comes along and puts it to a rather abrupt end. I really hope JW buys a pistol with his orb. I'm sick and tired of this. He's just using the Glock in, in, in every possibility, yeah, every actually, chance. I don't even think I've heard the orb fire yet, no. but I've <laughs> certainly seen JW go for Glock kills. Like here, you know, he's trying to go for those headshots because he knows NIP don't have head armor, and on the See, <laughs> that's fine. But JW's like, looking at the game and he's like, right, okay, so I was going for knives and that wasn't like cheeky enough because that actually gives me money and that aids the team. So what I'll do is, is I'll buy the AWP and I'll play Glock and that's the new meta here for Fnatic. 
Yeah, I mean, he, he, yeah, he did use it on a rifle round. He did die while using it on a rifle round. Nice push from Twist. Actually, Brolin gets away with it. I've never seen the T win that fight. It seems like the CTs are always ready for it, as they should be seeing the gap underneath the wood. Rez does get a trade to Here Crips, but JW not with his Glock and Ham, with his scope, and he does uh, manage to take down Rez coming back from middle. Fnatic punishing NIP everywhere in the map. They're going to group towards B, where Plopsky sits alone. This, is, this guy has been the knight in shining armor for NIP, and he's going to need to ride off into the sunset right now. He might find the bomb here. Oh dear, oh dear. Brolin, he's going to connect her instead. This is a good call. If he walked towards B on his own, that could have been Popsky winning the round. Single-handedly at that. Even though his teammate is all the way across into the nether region of the A site, and that is Nock hanging out at bank by his lonesome. Plopsky now pushing into water. This could create a little bit of a dilemma for Fnatic if they don't win this trade, but they do. And that just leaves Nock. He's going to have to rotate, but he should get there pretty quick. Albeit Brolin will have the AWP and the plant. So if the bomb goes down in a 2v1. Both Flusha and Brolin are pretty weak. Ooh. Not that weak, apparently. Yeah, just instant headshot. No time to react there for Nork. Uh, Fnatic with an eighth round on the board. Look at this, Brolin. He doesn't even, like, you can't even really see anything as a T there. He just sees a bullet come through and just starts spamming it and kills Twist. That is so unfortunate for Twist. But well, speaking of unfortunate events, Hugo, what do you think about a little bit of an update as to what's going on here between Astralis and Ents? Yeah, on the C stream as well. Astralis 9 3 up right now on the CT of Train. It's the first map in that BO3. Things are going as they should be, I would say. Yeah, I'd say that's about accurate. See if Ents can build into things later. We'll, of course, keep you updated with all the other games going on. I know a lot of people were worried about Brolin, you know, with like the Krieg nerf coming in. He yeah. even joked about it himself, saying how he was retiring on the back of the Krieg nerf coming through. Reasonable. But man, like him getting pushed on to using the AK even more, he, he still looks incredible. Yeah. And like maybe even better. I don't know. Like he just, he's so much more aggressive now because he can't just like hold a line with the Krieg. Mm. Like suddenly he goes and looks for the frags. And my word, does he find them. He <laughs> is a real hunter gatherer. And he's more a fan of hunting than he is of gathering as he has his eyes firmly set. Oh. <laughs> See you later, Rez. Yeah, that's it, man. Go in the Bow lobby. and arrows out for Brolin. Here he is. The Hawkeye of Fnatic. He knows as well. Flash has gone in, oh. and he doesn't win that fight. So there we are, bigging him up, of course, and he doesn't land the kill on the Twist. How dare he? Gets Always the happens shot, that way. Yeah. They've got him trapped, though. There's no way Twist is getting out of here alive. At least Crimson doesn't want him to. Oh, that's a big kill. Twist is making this one work, but Flush eventually puts him to bed. I, I'm surprised we don't see any Krieg since the nerf. We, you know, it's it's not a great gun anymore, but it's still viable, oh. and we haven't seen any in play. I think that's a big talking point, but we'll save it for later because Fnatic don't realize they're being flanked. Nork is coming in on the back line. He's picked up an AK. Fnatic needs these eight kills immediately, and Golden's got it onto Plopsky. Nork's still sneaking on the back line. He can't run. He doesn't know how close they could be, and his teammate is coming from the same position. This is a bit of an awkward one for NIP. Nork is going to tuck in and wait for his time to strike, dropping the orb. Still a low player on track. Truck. Flush has actually moved over to lo towards Long. This might not be expected. Nor looking. He's got a second. He's in the two or one, and he's closed it on his own with the AK, picked up from the body of Fnatic, and he's going to close that eco round for NIP. Yeah, that one was a rough run around the edges for Fnatic. He did get a little hairy there towards the bathrooms early on, which is not where you want it to be hairy at all. <laughs> Sweet shot from Bolin, though. You got to say that much. Yeah. I feel like the game has completely changed as well since we've seen that Krieg nerf, right? With no one even like considering trying to use it or or bringing it in. I actually think in like, you know, a few months, we might see someone pick up the Krieg again and, and, and try and make use of it uh, in its current form. It still has, you know, positives as well as negatives. It's but uh, like the people that play with the M4 without the silencer on. Yeah, weird, well, weird people. No, yeah, but like with, with the Krieg now, and this, this is why the change is good. It's a lot more like situational because it is yeah. just objectively the worst gun to have in like a close range firefight, right? You're going to lose to an M4 there every single time. And that's but good. If, yeah, and that's how it should be. But it's like if you're going to like go and duel Ooh. long every round, maybe you could still look to use it. But here's the B play from Fnatic. 
scrims. They've still got two players on 7k, so they will be buying, but that was, you know, most of their money just swept after they go for a bit of a B rush. Fnatic changed the pace after a lot of, you know, no, I wouldn't say slow rounds, but more defaults where they would attack everything at the same time. So Fnatic maybe not going back in for another rush after that one. It didn't pay off in their favor. And NIP could certainly build back into this game. They can still get seven rounds. So Fnatic don't want to let that happen. Yeah, they could. And speaking of seven rounds, that's what the Heretics currently sit on. Seven to five in this first map of their series. Dust to the second. That is the first map. Now, again, we did start all the games at the same time. So pacing should be about on par. Now, they're not the only teams playing. One team that we haven't talked about just yet would be that of Dignitas and Complexity. They're currently going toe-to-toe -to -toe on train. Ironically, also 4-7 to seven in favor of Dignitas. Excuse me, did I say Fnatic? Before that? Okay. I meant Dignitas Complexity on train. Yes. Big move on my behalf. Big old Granada hits Flusher and Golden. You can see Golden is on a Tech 9. So this is Fnatic's money. Going to be drawn to a close if they lose this round. They definitely don't want that to happen. Good shots, though, nonetheless. Yeah. Oh, the spam as well. Nor gets put down low with an immediate dink. The flash up for Popsky. He gets aggressive, but it's a whiff spray, and it's Golden given a gun as Fnatic just try and double down. They're going to pick up the pace and hit this B bomb site. Golden on his own, committing, and no one there to trade him either. That's a bit of an off one for Fnatic. We've seen them try that in the past with Flusher, and it had about the same result. Fnatic now still a man up, though. Still a chance to make this happen on the A site. Going to get the bomb out of spawn and move up the twist. Yeah, at the very least, Golden showing his head down towards B, prompted Lecro to rotate mm. away. Twist does get that nade kill onto Kobe. JW, a bit of a parting gift from a Twist. And now the rotation has arrived in amongst all of this. Nork has even cleared out the short side and is going to be wrapping through Connector. Now, he's been able to accomplish a lot on these flanks, but whether or not he finds much in this round is kind of hinging on Twist and the impact he's able to have from this position over towards CT. Nork now arriving and Brolin has heard this. He knows he's ready and waiting. And so Fnatic, they will find this round. Twist is just gonna have to back away. It's nine on the board now for Fnatic. This is such a good T side. And I, I'm. It, it's making me even more excited for the second half because I know that NIP are gonna have a good T side as well. So it's like, are Fnatic gonna have the solutions? Are they gonna have the answers for this, you know, brawly style of Counter-Strike that you can imagine NIP are gonna bring into it? Flusher doesn't let Twist save. He's, for some reason, down in Monster as well. And <laughs> Fnatic, they're everywhere. They're in your dreams, they're in your nightmares. And they are in the tunnels as well. 9-4. Also in the lead. Hmm. Capo think. Just the freeze time coming to an end. We are nearing the end of this half. This is going by pretty quick, all things considered. Oh, I just realized how we really missed the trick. Cause like we always say Fnatic, it's like they're in your dreams and nightmares. We could have called Brolin Freddy Krieger. <laughs> and that was like, that was a real, but now obviously not a thing we can do. No. And you ruined it already by saying it here. So, well, only because I'm never going to get to say it again. I can't go back in time to when Brolin was a Krieg player. But you can not go back in time. Perhaps he will pick up a Krieg sometime in the near future, of course. We'll have to wait and see. I actually got a little tweet, which uh, I appreciate from Danny. Dan 2K13. He does say that Amanek bought a Krieg to take Dust too long post nerf. So, yeah, I mean, situationally, definitely to take certain positions. Still got a scope, still deadly accurate. And, uh, you know, it, I think the biggest nerf is the rate of fire, right? That's what makes it pretty bad now. Spraying, caught close, and, and using it unscoped. If you don't first bullet kill, you might just be dead. So, Right now, Fnatic, a man down in this round. It could be NIP coming alive. Brolin's been dropped in middle. Wasn't ready for res and the connector. Fnatic are barely out of spawn, and they're picking up the bomb to go join the man on long. That's going to be Crims. Pushed up deep. They know the res was here earlier as well, so Fnatic being very careful towards middle. Keeping an eye on Con, but Rez has actually rotated down and then back up again through the CT spawn. That's where our two players are coming to join Twist here on the truck. Crims is actually in the site, but he can't find a kill yet. There's a big headshot. Nork is gone. They still don't, don't know where this AWP resides, though. Twist with a kill, dropping the bomb. Time is short. 15 seconds. Rez has found another. It's all on Flusher in the clutch. Got to get a one on four here on his own. Not going to happen. Plopsky puts him in the grave and NIP find five on this CT side. It's a recoverable uh, half after all. And they might just take a sixth with the Fnatic being on low money.
A little bit of a flicker of life here in the candle. That as for ninjas in pajamas. No Fs in chat necessary just yet. We are just getting this party underway. Mirage, the second map of the series. Inferno thereafter. But Fnatic want to make it double digits before they close out this half. And they are certainly capable of doing that. I say that. And their weapons just not looking that strong. However, we know what they're capable of. Golden's going to get way out front here. Wants to lead this charge. Just jumping around like a golden does. Oh, Rez playing around this smoke. And on the other side, there's a man going by the name of Flusher. This is the shadow advantage here for Rez. He's going to spot that so he knows when Flusher's peeking. Oh, no. And now Fnatic trying oh, to hit the B no. site, but the timing on that molly could not have been worse. Plopski, uncharacteristic miss of the spray onto Brolin and wasn't able to readjust in time to deal with JW. So this now leaves the three on three open to Fnatic. They retrieved an M4 and suddenly this buy that they had that wasn't great might be deadly enough to find them double digits here right at the end of the half. Don't count NIP out of this one yet though. They start to arrive, they look to get in, they look to muscle their way into this bomb site. Crims holding close, has a lot on his shoulders here. And Twist will catch him from up in the heavens. This leaves it all onto Golden. The bomb is planted for him. Time is ticking away. They smoke it, they get on it, but Golden oh, finds them both oh, completely that accidentally. That. Fnatic, double digits at the end of the first half. And what a way for it to all come to a close here at the end of the first half. We'll be back with the second after a quick break. So don't you go anywhere.
and it's like brushing your teeth in the shower and leaving that toothbrush face down on the floor when you leave. It's really gross. It's really disgusting. And for Nip, this is not the half that they wanted to see. And, of course, there is still time to bounce back here at the SL1 Road to Rio, especially within the confines of this best of three. Fanatic currently in charge, though. Isn't that right, Harry and Hugo? Yeah, this feels like very eerily quiet in comparison to what I don't I'm like used it. to. I don't like it at all, actually. Hugo, do you want to provide us with some, like, light, melancholy music? Something <laughs> melodic. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> that iconic <sighs> tune that we all love. <laughs> I got a banger for you guys. One second. Oh, dude, oh, no. what's going on here? What oh, are you about to do? Oh, is this the are you going to who... play something down the mic? This is going to come across horribly. That's wow. what you think. And y'all yeah. know what it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Whoa. back into the action we go. It's a B rush and Sarah. it's uh, NIP on the T side. They are not waiting around. They are hunting after Sarah and wherever she can be found. Brolin in the back line, missing a lot of shots of the USP. That head hitbox in the Whoa. back can be very difficult. So Flusher finds it from the front. Nork dead. Brolin follows up fast. Play up towards the short side and NIP feel the need to get aggressive, but they're walking into a setup. They're walking into a stack and jumping out of the way is Flusher as he has all the cover in the world. Fnatic five alive at the end of the B site. They're going to get the defuse. It's a nice guy thing to do as well, to give the guy with the defuse kit a defuse because he did put $400 into it. Yeah. So, Fnatic, a nice bit of courtesy show into Flusher. Thank you for being a team player, Mr. Flusher. Thank you for not just buying armor every round, Mr. Flusher. Thank you for grabbing that defuse. Thank Mr. Flusher. Yeah. I mean, it's also Fnatic just, you know, wanting to, the well-oiled machine they are, wanting to get everything Expedite moving the process. as fast as they yep. possibly yep. can. Come yeah. on, get an IP out of here. They're just going to, yeah, no, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. It was a it was a three mapper last time these guys played, but it was also NIP winning over past sixteen two. And I don't know what you. I guys don't think, think that's possible. No, this time I don't around, think it's going to happen. Don't see that happening this time around. It's not looking likely. I mean, you'd have to do some real sorcery there to detract Ooh, some rounds. Now, speaking of sorcery, of bringing some rounds forward. Astralis and Ents ten to ten. On the first map of the series, albeit train. Wasn't this nine three for Astralis on the CT side at one point? They were winning. Heavy-handedly. Well, that's an interesting one. It's like we all expected, though, from the Finnish powerhouse that is Ents in that series, tying it up at 10 to 10. But here in our series right now, Fnatic are leading by example. They're up 11 to 5. They're looking good. And it's an eco round for NIP. They just called in a tactical pause before this one. I'm imagining that the bulk of that conversation is geared around the investment in this following round. But they've still got enough of a hand in this one to do some damage and potentially get away with something that maybe they shouldn't. Ooh, Fnatic, I like this. Flash through the monster tunnel and getting aggressive. Not actually going to full flank the T-spawn like it looked like they were on, but uh, they will push up towards B-short, take that area as well through the tunnel. They now know something, and that is that NIP have pretty much everyone towards the A site, and so Brolin needs to be very careful. That is the call from Fnatic. He wiggles and jiggles inside of the toilet, not wanting to give anything up. NIP are moving up long in the meantime. Twist has a one flashbang in this round for NIP with two smokes to go for an execute. He'll pop them around the corner, but that gives away their intentions. Now Fnatic know that uh, NIP are coming closer. Brolin's got one, he's got Popsky, but quick trade off the Deeg and JW a big tuck. They're not going to expect another man so close in this position, especially not with a rifle. They found the FAMAS, but have they found Jesper? Oh, another D-kill, but nobody has cleared JW, and this might be their undoing. He's waiting. He's so patient. Oh, this is gross, JW. There he go. He looks for Nork, and nice. there's the lineup. JW sends them out of the site with a stellar bit of trigger discipline to put a 12th round on the board for Fnatic. Everything about that round, so signature, JW. That was so well played. Just the patience. He even lets the bomb go to truck as well. Like he, It looked like he could have lost an opportunity there, but he realized there was still a player in the toilets, and that was the biggest detail. That was the factor, right? NIP not able to take down JW in the corner. Finds four kills and a 12th round for Fnatic. That was an eco from NIP, though. And even without the bomb plant, they're able to buy up. 
Got to use a smoke on the Molotov, but Fnatic got two of them and Rez, hey, he doesn't come carrying two smokes. So they're going to flash out into middle instead. JW popping himself back in, but he actually looks into that flashbang a little bit and will decide to bail. Him and Brolin going back to that A site. And of course, that's because of the timings, right? Not only are NIP close in mid, but Proxy's come up connector and Fnatic don't want to get caught by that in the sideline. So they'll completely avoid it. Safely set up inside of B. Oh, good timing. Popsky dropping Crims down on B short. He's looking for another. And uh, he's got the info ba uh, banging through the wall. Golden down to 50. Popsky going to give up the fight and continue to move up towards A. Yeah, this leaves Nork on bomb retrieval duty. It's never a fun mission to be on, but it's what he might get tasked with here. As NIP look like they want to hit this A bomb site, and that's exactly the case. Knock out here doing side quests while the rest of the gang <laughs> focusing on the main objective, which is, of course, trying to get control over here towards the A bomb site. Brolin and JW, they're the two tasks of trying to hold the fort. Ooh, and Brolin you. gimmicking around this smoke, hides himself behind Divider. Not terribly uncommon to see T spam this spot before mm. aggressing round. Oh. And they will flash. Uh oh, <gasps> let grow. Ah, this is awkward. What? There we go. Oh. Plopsky's going to deal with it. They were. Uh, Getting a little too close for comfort in that smoke. And this is now an IP Ooh. in the lead in a very big way in this round. It gets extended even further thanks to Twist. And this should be all said and done for Fnatic. They back on out. They hold on to these two Famuses, which not really the ideal weapons to be saving. But, you know, it's better than nothing. I guess it's something you can attribute to the Famus. <laughs> is it? I don't know. I'm not, I really don't like the Famus, so... Asking the wrong guy here. I'll, I'll always buy an MP9 with a util over that. Every time. Someone says, oh, don't worry, I can drop your fan mask. Nah, I'm all right. Got a CZ. M4 all the way. But today it's the AKs. That's what will find a sixth round for NIP. Getting their first of the half locked and loaded. It's nice to see. But Fnatic saving two guns. I imagine they all invest around them. Look for... The reset round. And there it is. Yeah, it is. Fnatic have really grabbed this one by the horns, you might say, Hugo. Or I might say. Somebody might say that. I don't know who. Fool me once. Shame. Shame on you. Fool you twice? JW ain't gonna get fooled again, you know what I'm saying? Lecro gonna get taken down from an M4. And now that leaves us in a four versus four. Psych. It does look like plopsy has got something to say about it as well. Oh. This grenade looks pretty bye sweet. Bye. Was there. Yes, it will. Touchdown. Yeah. Kobe in the house. Flush is so good. Right? He's he's he, I don't know why he's allowed to play this game. I don't think it's fair on the rest of Sweden. But uh it's true. It's pretty wild to watch. Yeah, he's he's definitely he's definitely there. Nade over the wall, into the door, and into the face of Plopsky. He's even going to push up off the back of it. What this does do as well is freeze up Golden for a rotation. Once Flusher has cleared Monster, Golden's going to check it from his side as well. He will be running right back up, flashing for his teammate on the A site. Twist gets blinded, but that flash is very brief, and Twist can continue to move up with his team. Fnatic now have at least two on the A site. Flusher is the safety insurance policy coming in from the flank, but he will be a long way away. He is walking this flank right now, and NIP are already close towards the A site, so it's going to be up to this double man setup. Do NIP expect it? Oh, my! Surely not. Golden, phenomenal little deke sequence here, and this leaves Rez all alone. Fnatic, they might be about to steal this round away, and indeed they are. <laughs> 13 now on the board for the Fnatic squad, and Golden... Stepping up massively when needed to. Yeah, Brolin wasn't even needed or seen in the corner. Golden kills two. He tags the third. And by that time, Flush is actually coming on the flank to win the round. So, yeah, that will, that will work for Fnatic. They find the instant reset after NIP take their first rifle round with five alive. And because of five alive, NIP can at least afford into this one as well. But this is it. This is the map right here in this round. If NIP lose it, they're broke against 14. 
Yeah, there's so much riding on this one now for NIP. They get players down into connector, they get out in towards top mid, and they do have Nork still holding on to this B site. This is already reading like one of these A splits from NIP, something that they've done a lot, right? Nork gonna hold on outside of Monster for a little bit. Ways to see if any aggression comes through, and then if it doesn't, NIP usually send him back, grab that bomb, group up over towards A, and try and get in. I like this boost. Real sleek, Ooh. real effective too. Gold is going to fall to Plopsky. That's going to create a hole in the defense here for Fnatic. Albeit Crims has held trigger discipline here. He's about to get creeped up on by Knock. Doesn't even matter. Somehow wins that duel straight up, head to head. The fact, with an MP9. the fact that Golden even dinks Popsky for 98 is impressive as well, right? That was barely anything to be seen in that position. Twist has cleared out A though. He's going to win the round off that frag. I think his Brolin has been cut off of long. And now two CTs coming in for a rotation. Fnatic cordoned out by the smokes. The bomb has been planted. They might even consider just straight up saving here. And that seems to be the best decision they can make. Seven for NIP. Again, another round with four alive here for the Ninjas. Definitely seem, seeming like a, a more methodical approach to this T side for NIP, and, and I kind of like that as well. Staying very grouped, trading their kills, trying little boosts to get frags, to get advantages. Fnatic, a lot of their T side was it was often just, you know, four-man group hits with, with one guy on the opposite side looking for info. It would often be Flusher just walking into B or through toilets as the rest of Fnatic would burst the other site. They're going to call out a tactical pause. Money drawn to a close here for Fnatic. They could even consider force buying, considering Brolin has 1,400, but it doesn't really matter what you do here. You've still oh. got a good lead. Oh, boy. It's Everybody now wincing at the sight on uh -oh. the screen, of course. And that is because the scoreline is as reads 14 to 11. And it's currently topping Astralis on the first map of that series. They're looking at Nuke and Inferno as a second, two, And that is over on the C stream, ESL underscore CSGO C. Oh, boy. Well, maybe this game's still got some legs on it, though, right? Because just as we cut away their Astralis, maybe it looked like they were about to put a 12th round on the board. So that's definitely one we're going to look to keep an eye on here. Because, my word, I don't know if that's quite how anyone had envisioned no. that first map of play going down. And that certainly makes for a more interesting matchup here as well, right? We were already commenting on how if Astralis beat Ents, then, you know, they do solidify that top group spot, even if NIP win this matchup. But if that wasn't to be the case, NIP, they could look to top the group yeah. here if they pick up a victory over Fnatic. So, all the games having long-reaching complications across into one another, and that's why we're going to keep you updated as best we can. Flusher in this round. The best he can do is get shut down by Rez Ooh. on the entry. Let Crow chains Ooh. together wow. another, and this B site has been overrun, uh. overwhelmed, and it now belongs to NIP. And two players from short as well. NIP know it. They've already smoked and mollied off this position. Fnatic could boost. That would be an idea to look into this site. Brolin's begging the JW moves so he can get back up on the railing. And we'll just use a smoke to, well, <laughs> try and escape being the key. He actually, in his dying breath, throws his gun forward to JW, what? who walks through the smoke only to get wall banged by Rez. Four kills for Rez. Excellent round for him. Uh, Very fast opening uh, frags into B. If I'm Brolin. I'm pissed. You I'm know? real like, mad. JW I'm just, real mad. Just blocks him for you. enough, and then yeah. he dies to drop the gun, and then JW dies <laughs> with the gun. Dies with the gun. Which, like, fair play, you know, you weren't ever expecting oh, this is what was going to happen. He didn't see either of them. No. Wild, <laughs> wild scenes. Oh. Poor, poor fanatic. Quite literally, 2K a player and NIP nipping at their heels, as yeah. the name would suggest. <laughs> nice. Pretty good. Was that nice. one intentional or did you realize it after? The after fight? I said the word, yeah, I realized yeah. the correlation. Nipping yeah. at the heels, it's Nip. And Fnatic, they're the heels. But in this round, it might be them having to tuck away here with no investment in this round. 
And that's currently the situation that we see for Fnatic Harry. Well, well, that's an interesting one. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Flush it with a USP, able to best Plopski, the current top performer for an IP. But the B site already belongs to this NIP squad. And that there means that Fnatic kind of know that no matter how much impact they are able to find with these U USPs, it should still be a nip round at the end of the day. Another dink coming through. Nork is the man who should have this round dead to rights, and he pretty much does. Luckily, now. JW's running. Uh, that, that's something I'm happy to see here because, wait, is that JW actually? No, he's hiding. Flush is the one running. Sometimes. I thought he was going to try and get away with the gun. Oh, oh, okay. Back, wow. forth, back again. Rez has the headshot, and JW should have the save. Yeah, maybe let's put a little bit of a focus here as to how Nip are clawing back into this game. It looked like Fnatic were in firm control, full control even. But it seems as though that Nip want to go up to nine, and they want to press even further than that. Now, we are going to get an investment out of Fnatic in this next round, but overall, what have Nip done right, Hugo? A few well-placed B rushes, but most importantly, uh, most importantly, they've broken the money, right? Think about Fnatic's last, like, three rounds. They haven't had a full rifle round. We haven't seen JW with the AWP in this half yet, and that's, I think, one of the most crucial points. Uh, you know, NIP, they started to put rounds on the CT side once they started getting the orbs, and that can often be the case on Overpass. Fnatic still don't go for it. They had money, but JW would rather play the rifle. So right now, Fnatic aren't worried about NIP clawing this game back. But after one more rifle round loss, I imagine Fnatic will pull out that scope cannon. We'll see. Into B again, and I think they love this site. They have an infatuation with it, and for good reason. A quick kill into Golden. The trade is there, though. This time, Fnatic have a little more skin in the game, and Crims is hiding inside of the pit. The Molly goes past him, but he's getting tagged by it. He's going to walk into the spray. The swap. Rez pulls out a grenade as he gets peaked. Luckily, the trade is in, but Flusher can't move far because of that Molotov. JW is here as well, though, with the AK. Flusher flashed out. NIP just hiding behind smokes, but they are going to begin to fade, and so will the lifespan. Twist is dead, and Flusher Popsky in a clutch, he can't compete. Fnatic up to 14, they deal with a B rush this time. That was very slow for NIP. A an initial rush for three out monster, but they just get stuck in that monster area and can't crawl past the pillar. Fnatic have enough you know, covering fire, really, from those rifles to keep NIP passive. This is always going to be the horrible thing for Nip, right? Is that even though your T side looks real good and you are recovering in this second half after such a, a dominant beginning. And those are exhausting rounds too, if you think about it for Nip. Now, if they do go on to lose this map, of course, they've got to show some resilience, but it can be a little taxing Oh no! You're to kidding. mount a comeback. You're kidding. Oh He's dear, Twist, it. don't go for that again. JW is... Is, is is aware and is ready, and that's scary enough. Now, no one else is going to show their head over on the boost. JW now falls off of the angle and looks instead over here towards Connector. He's relying pretty heavily on Brolin, holding his back line. That smoke falls in, but it doesn't make JW fall off. If anything, it intrigues him further. He actually pushes through it, takes up a position on the other side of this smoke, dropping one of his own, creating... Ooh. A real no-go zone here in the toilet. Not to be confused with the nether zone. Because we don't have Rush here, but he's big into his Minecraft. And in this round, it's actually going to be golden to open up onto Nork. Toilet's control still looking like it might be attempted here for an IP. And that's as Brolin starts to peel away. Back Ooh. into the site, JW gets spotted. At this point, they've seen a man at long. Maybe when they get the information, there's players here short side, we see the rotation. Flush is already on his way up. He's going to join up with old mate JW here inside of the A-bomb site. Miss shot from Mr. JW. Still looking to get a bit more done here, but they are closing the gap. That's where oh, Flusher has baby. to come in to help save the day and save it. He shall him and JW. They combined for three between them, four in the round. And a 15th on the board for Fnatic. Map point now on an IP's map pick. And Hugo, that's a testament to these guys just playing together years and years and years and years of experience. Yeah, that's actually a very similar round to how, uh, you know, and, uh, Fnatic played it on the T side, done by an IP. They throw, you know, one man out monster to try and fake it, 
to keep players at the lower site and then hit A. What's key there is Fnatic don't fall for it. Not only do they get that immediate B kill, but Flush rotates up off the back of it. He almost reads NIP as B goes silent and he gets behind the truck before NIP think he's there. They, they kill Brolin. They know JW's trapped. They think they can get a bomb palm while they cover. And well, they can't. Flusher was already out. So Fnatic, very, very you know, smart with these rotations ahead of the game and not falling for any of these shenanigans that NIP are trying to present them. Money, money, money. NIP have been buying back to back to back because of these bomb plants. But no more. This could be the end of the map anyway if Fnatic find it. It's NIP's pick and just a round away from that exact situation. We actually have a heavy B setup here as well. Fnatic know it. It's really some of the only rounds NIP have won in this uh, T side, which have been these B crunch rounds. So Fnatic with four there initially, if you count the AWP in heaven, but that AWP has gone back towards A and set up with Brolin. And still a three-man lower setup though. So Fnatic have no, or nothing to be worried about. Good damage done onto Twist, but it's actually a key B entry coming through onto Golden. Crimson is going to try and trade. He gets flashed in. Good job. He spots two more as well and the bomb. That's huge info for Fnatic and they can rotate off the back of it. Yeah, that they can. Fnatic right here just about to cross the finish line. Flusha. Almost finds a timing there with Rez in which he would put himself into a firefight, but... Oh, no. Look at this. They're backing away yeah. on the Fnatic side. This is where NIP safe? have slowed it right down, and I think Fnatic may be anticipating there's a chance that this is the fake, and they fall back. They take these really, really passive holds here, knowing that the time is low. They can afford to do this. If they can keep catching Nip crossing into the wow. site while well, it's all said and done, wow. Flusher with a triple. Ooh. And 16 on the board for Fnatic as they strip NIP.